good morning students uh, today we are discussing about our second chapter nutrition in animals so uh, in first chapter we already discuss about the autotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition okay it means the autotrophs and heterotrophs and the about the nutrients so this time we will discuss about the how uh, nutrition will be get by animals it means uh, in earlier chapter we already discussed about nutrition get by uh, plants okay so plants you already seen omni uh, okay uh, insectivorous and saprophytes and decomposers like that okay and their examples also are there and now we are discussing about the nutrition so nutrition is a word in which we just take the food inside it and absorb it in the simpler uh, form okay it means absorb mostly uh, food in the form of soluble form only in the soluble form so uh, first we have to see what are the nutrients okay and how these nutrients uh, can be uh, converted in the form of nutrition by the animals so first is like nutrients nutrients are the fat vitamins proteins minerals okay roughage water these all are the uh, essential uh, food uh, ingredients okay which is uh, necessary for our body growth and repair so our uh, nutrition in animal just shows that uh, how animals get nutrition or nutrients so uh, many different uh, types or many different things are uh, available in the nature to uh, get nutrition by animals first is different modes of feeding habits in different animals it means different type of animals are having a different type of food habits different type of food habits it means their food are just different their uh, food sources are different their uh, taking of food is also different uh, different and their digesting of that and taking of nutrients from that particular food also are different in nature it means for every and uh, each animal there are a different process to engulf the food and digest it okay so uh, different modes of the food feeding habits but in different animals okay it means different moods different types okay and feeding habits it means their food habits in different animals first is like amoeba amoeba is a unicellular organs it means every and each activities are just contained within one cell okay and it means every living functions can be carried by one cell that is known as unicellular so amoeba is a special feet called pseudopodia called pseudopodia have to procure food okay it means uh, amoeba, amoeba have a special feet that is known as pseudo pseudo means false or oh, and podia means feet so they are having a false feet which has to procure food it means which has to take food okay from uh, other uh, living it means uh, maybe the other living is a uh, food for that and they are just taking uh, uh, inside the food by the pseudopodia actually in this process they are uh, making a one vacuum in their food because pseudopodia is a irregular in shape they are just having a one uh, pseudo, uh, pseudopodia like structure here and in that uh, this this uh, 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 ridges is known as this ridges is known as vacuums this ridges is known as vacuums and from this from any any it means uh, from any shape uh, they are having and from any part of this amoeba they can take inside the food and then the food is just goes inside uh, the, this is this can be digested inside the body okay so this is amoeba lizard frog and chameleon lizard frog and chameleon have a long sticky tongue to catch prey it means they are having a long sticky tongue it means uh, uh, there is a uh, some distance from their prey prey means their food so they just uh, uh, taken out okay their uh, tongue and just stick the food and take inside that and engulf it okay so lizard frog and chameleon have a long sticky tongue to catch prey now third one is birds of prey birds of prey means it means those birds which just depend on prey just depend on prey like eagle have a sharp claws and curved beaks okay sharp claws okay and curved beaks okay to grip the prey and to shred them into pieces it means they just grip and break and shred it means just to break down into the uh, different uh, type of uh, different amount of uh, pieces uh, through that they can take because uh, they can take the food in the uh, form of pieces only uh, whole 
food they are not taking okay that's why the, uh, uh, they are just spread them into pigs butterflies mosquito feed on liquid food generally you know about that butterflies take a nectar okay take a nectar take nectar from the flowers okay different type of flowers and mosquito you know about their uh, female anopheles mosquito which causing a malaria diseases generally takes a food from our blood generally takes from blood from human beings okay it means feed on liquid food liquid food because flowers having a nectar which is a liquid mosquito taken food in the form of blood human blood okay which is also liquid so like nectar and blood blood house fly okay in this case nectar and blood is the food for butterfly and mosquito for butterfly there is a nectar it is the juice of flower and for mosquito there is a blood okay that is food we are here showing that different feeding habits i already uh, told about that different animals taken food in the form of different modes different modes it means their food are also different type sources also different type their nature to take also and their digest and uh, just excrete it only all process are just different okay so house flies you know about that house flies okay domestic flies also first liquefy their food with the help of saliva it means their mouth there is the salivary enzymes which are uh, uh, make a digestion of physical digestion it means make a churning in our mouth that is saliva okay that uh, when you are watching uh, watching any sweet material uh, so watering of mouth this water is known as saliva this water is known as saliva so this help the saliva all these organs have a special sucking organ called proboscis it means this uh, sucking it means house flies okay uh, and cockroach or many uh, having the sucking sucking uh, they have a special sucking organ sucking organ it means they are having a when they are just penetrate the body of prey they just suck okay like a capillary tube like a straw okay they just suck the blood from the particular skin okay so sucking organ called proboscis so uh, sucking organ is known as proboscis to suck the liquid food okay understood so house flies having a sucking organ tentacle like and this a uh, house fly just take the liquid and food uh, with the help of saliva and uh, suck the liquid food with the help of the proboscis now hydra hydra is also a irregular shape okay uh, organs uses it specialized sting cells sting cells you know sting it is done okay so sting cells nidocytes sting cells nidocytes especially their name of uh, sting cell that is nidocyte which secret poison to paralyze it okay very interesting phenomena here it means hydra just take okay just to penetrate the sting cells to prey which is known as nidocytes it means cytes means cell and this nido is the name of this sting which a uh, secret poison to paralyze it it means they are just secreting the poison to inside the prey into the prey to make paralyze to make paralyze it means they are living a uh, uh, life living activities are just decreased or reduced so into its body cavity it means just they are uh, through the sting cells through the nidocytes they just uh, sting okay and penetrate the whole, the body of prey uh, by the hydra uses of this uh, nidocytes uses of this nidocytes and make them paralyze make them paralyze there after a tentacles put this paralyzed prey into its body cavity got it so there after tentacles tentacles is special structure put this paralyzed prey put this paralyzed uh, paralyzed paralyzed means okay i uh, i think you understood about that paralyzed paralyzed means uh, sometimes the some body organs are not working properly okay it means may the nervous system or nerve cells or their nerve organs are maybe uh, not working properly so and that time our some uh, body uh, parts like hand or foot or okay half body shape or okay half body part maybe uh, not working properly it means the whole uh, daily activity we cannot do uh, uh, with the help of our organs that uh, that is known as paralysis so they just paralyzed prey because after the paralyzed prey they cannot able to fly or they cannot able to walk that's why and take body in take into the body cavity by the help of tentacles snail snail is a pilar like apple snail like the 
okay this is a, a sea organisms okay generally found at the sea beaches snail has a mouth on underside they are having a mouth on underside underside it means underside it means uh, uh, they are just inside of the head of the head it means underside of the head inside of the head these contain many tiny teeth arranged in rows on a ribbon like tongue okay it means these contain a many tiny uh, tiny like teeth it means many uh, number of teeth are just arranged in rows arranged in rows inside that because they are already underside on a ribbon like tongue on a ribbon like it means ribbon like there is a tongue called radula called radula so ribbon like this tongue is known as radula snails generally feed on digging plants snails generally feed on digging plants it means generally snails feed it means they are having a food only in the form of digging plants okay so uh, you already see uh, some uh, five six points okay to understand uh, what are the different animals to feed habits okay that means what are their feeding habits that is to uh, catch the prey to catch or to take the food and how uh, make them digest inside their body okay understood now students uh, we can see some more uh, food habits okay by different animals uh, like starfish okay starfish found in uh, sea okay uses its arms to grip uh, starfish having many arms to uh, grip mussels mussels is a sea animal which covered with a black shell okay they are having a black shell on their body okay so uh, a sea animal uh, which is the food of a uh, starfish it gradually pulls its mouth and digests the mussels in soft body it gradually pulls its mouth okay they are just uh, pulls by mouth okay and uh, digest the mussels in soft body mussels soft mussels having a soft body and it can be digested by starfish okay so mussels is the food for the starfish next is leaf cutting ant some ants are generally leaf cutting and feed only the uh, only on the leaf so leaf cutting ants bite off pieces of leaves okay they are bite off pieces that means they are uh, breaking the leaves uh, pieces into the small one and carry them to use underground nest okay and just carry this leaf pieces to underground nest here they chew the leaves and mix them with the saliva they just chew the leaves small uh, some uh, tiny parts and just mix with the saliva to make a kind of compost to make a kind of compost it means, uh, it means before to digest they are just making a compost of these leaves compost is a uh, like a manure okay, uh, which is a dead and decaying matter on this compost fungi grows which is used as a food by the ant so on this compost on this compost fungi grow which is used as a food by it, okay so understood uh, here uh, leaf, uh, leaf eating uh, ants are just uh, uh, change this uh, leaves into the small pieces convert it into the compost and then this compost is a feed it means they are this compost is a food for the ants compost is a food for ants it means after they are just feeding on the compost now the process of nutrition now the process of nutrition among the animals so the process of obtaining food what are the processes what are the different steps in the nutrition so first see the definition of nutrition the process of obtaining food first they have to obtain food that means they first they have to make a uh, to reach the availability of food digestion when they will take inside their body it will take a digestion it means in digestion the complex food materials it means the hard uh, food materials okay which is converted into the simpler one which is converted into the simpler one or they are just breaking into the pieces by the physical digestion in their mouth or maybe the chemical digestion it means from the uh, many enzymes which secreted in their stomach or place where the food is digested and now after that once the food is digested then many nutrients will come out and these nutrients will be goes to the body parts for that animals generally do absorption 
and, and animals generally do absorption in spring. Now the nutrients can be absorbed by the body part. Uh, sometimes in human beings it can be uh, uh, do, uh, done by uh, small, in small intestine, this absorption in small intestine and after that when the food having uh, uh, giving the enough energy to survive, this energy just mixed with the blood and goes to the different organs of our body and then uh, when the food is absorbed, the utilization of food by the body it means now the food should be the utilized okay and it is utilized by the uh, daily activities it means when we are doing or uh, any animal is doing their daily activities it means uh, walking running okay uh, going anywhere the uh, locomoting so these all activities include inside or by the outside of their body organs these all activities directly concerned uh, 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 connected with the energy with the energy and energy just comes out from the food so uh, you should understand the definition of uh, nutrition what is that obtaining food first we have uh, they have to reach the availability of food and when they get food they just digest uh, to intake the food inside their body after the digestion when the nutrients will come out from the food they will uh, that will be the absorbed by their body parts and once the food energy or nutrients will be absorbed then this absorbed nutrients can be utilized by the body organs can be utilized by the body organs is known as nutrition is known as nutrition so now we have to see various steps of nutrition various steps of nutrition what are the various steps in the nutrition uh, it means when the uh, food is available we have to take inside digest it absorb it and how to exit it all are having a different steps in every in each animals okay uh, due to like that uh, feeding habits are different due to that uh, like uh, various steps of nutrition it means when the food uh, in the form of nutrients uh, many different type of nutrients can be uh, needed by the different type of animals so uh, first is ingestion ingestion means simple means of ingestion means just take the food outside from the to inside it means just take uh, 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 food inside to the mouth only okay so that is known as ingestion so the taking in of the food inside the body taking in of the food inside the body from that directly we are not telling here uh, tongue because or mouth because everyone is not taken the food in there directly to the mouth only uh, maybe human beings and some animals are doing that but uh, just take inside the food from outside Okay, it means from outside there is the availability of food to take just inside our body is known as ingestion. It's called ingestion in human beings. In ingestion can take place through the mouth. Okay, so when we are taking the food, first we make enter this food into our mouth, into our mouth. Second is digestion. It means what is once we have to uh, if ingested the food, then the next process is digestion. Next process is digestion. So digestion means the breakdown of the various complex nutrients present in the ingested food into simpler and soluble substance. Once the food, uh, the complex is there, then it should be converted uh, to digest. Okay, so it should be converted into the simpler and soluble substance. Without this simpler and soluble substance, food cannot be uh, taken or digested or absorbed by the body. Absorbed by the body. Next is absorption. Absorbing the digested food by the body to reach in the blood. Okay. Once the food is digested, now it uh, need to be absorbed. So, absorbing the digested food, absorbing the digested food. This digested food should be absorbed by food by the body to reach in the blood. Once the food is absorbed, now it will be goes to the blood. Okay, by the different blood capillaries like the arteries, veins. Okay. So different blood vessels are there and uh, many different type of animals having a different uh, blood circulatory systems are there and circulatory and through this circulatory system this digested food it means the absorbed food should be go to the into the blood uh, next d1 is the assimilations these are the steps okay where steps when we will take food it digest and it means uh, uh, up to the nutrients will get by the body so uh, assimilation it is the utilization of absorbed food materials for the process of growth, reproduction or repair by the living organs. It means assimilation means when the food is assimilated, it is the utilization of the absorbed food. Once the food is absorbed, now it should be uh, utilized by the body 
so for uh, food material for the process of growth so what are the needs the body should be needs to the growth the body should be needs to reproduction it means the production of the same species number and the repair it means sometimes the injury or wound inside the body or some cells are continuously degrading and decomposing it means their uh, life spans are just reduced or maybe the life spans are over then uh, every time new cells are uh, uh, taking the birth okay new cells are uh, germinating so these are repaired by the living organisms this also can be observed and this what is the function of nutrition here so nutrients can do to the body growth body reproduction and body repairment okay uh, next is ejection it means now once the food is ingested so it digested now absorbed by the body but sometimes the foods are having a low energy content or maybe the uh, lack of energy content food which is uh, no need to uh, no there is no need of body to uh, take uh, to keep inside the body so it should be a removal it should be a removal so the removal of undigested food and solid waste material because to before to remove the solid waste material can be uh, produced because this uh, uh, the water should just be uh, taken by the body this solid waste material from the body is called ejection it means through the uh, rectum or anus this uh, food material is just goes to the outside and uh, through this removal this removal of undigested food uh, un undigested, sorry, undigested food it means this undigested food should be uh, removed from the body and this is known as ingestion this is known as ejection this is known as ejection okay So once again we have to uh, uh, revise this uh, process of nutrition. So the process of obtaining food, digestion, absorption and the utilization of food by the body. So these all are activities when we will do. This is known as nutrition. So what are the various steps of nutrition? We already studied about that. Ingestion, it means just in intake the food inside our body. The taking in and off of the food inside the body is called uh, ingestion. In human beings generally ingestion takes place through mouth okay it means through the mouth only uh, this uh, can be ingested the food uh, digestion the breakdown of the various complex nutrients maybe many times uh, the food are just in the form of complex and this complex nutrients should be converted into simpler or soluble forms so without simpler and soluble the food cannot be absorbed by our body or maybe the sometimes the different animals body now the absorption absorbing the digested food and to reach in the blood once the food is absorbed now it should be goes to the blood to uh, carry the energy to every each part of the body now the assimilation it is the utilization of absorbed food materials for process of growth it's the important things because for growth we need nutrients for reproduction we need nutrients and for repairment of body organs or tissues we need uh, nutrients okay in the form of food so by the living organisms uh, last is ejection undigested food or unwanted food materials are just uh, uh, goes to the outside so removal of undigested food and solid this waste material uh, from the body is called ejection is called ejection okay thank you